was born to live, live to ride. Born to live, I was born to ride. American built, we forever unite. If that's the deal, I was born to ride. Now the Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices in Palm Harbor. When do you crave refreshing iced tea? Twisted Tea wants to know. The next time you want that same satisfying refreshment, but with a kick, grab a Twisted Tea. Twisted Tea, the refreshing hard iced tea that tastes like real iced tea with a kick. Thanks for tuning in. As we approach Born to Ride's landmark 1,000th television episode, we have reached back into our archive footage to bring you images of the most famous and iconic motorcyclist that ever lived. Yes, it's none other than Evil Knievel. Evil was a man of few words, but when he spoke, he meant every word. Even though he was suffering from pulmonary disease and waiting desperately for a liver transplant, he still took the time to make appearances for his adoring fans, and he signed and autographed photos, helmets, books, shirts, and even motorcycles until he would actually wear out his pins and markers. We first catch up with Evil at the old Ernie Hare California Motorcycle Company as they turbocharge Evil's personal signature CMC motorcycle. On display was his X2 rocket that he used to attempt to cross the Snake River Canyon in Idaho and his famous Harley-Davidson XR750, the bike that set so many world records. A friend and fan of Born to Ride, he was also gracious enough to sign producer Ron Galetti's personal items from his own Evil Knievel collection. And then we catch up with Evil at Fletcher's Harley-Davidson in Clearwater, where in addition to the X2 and the XR750, he displayed a skeleton that marked every one of the 433 broken bones he suffered in unsuccessful jumps and crashes. So stay tuned, we go back in time for a final look of that most famous of all bikers, Evil Knievel. It's all coming up right now, right here, only on Born to Ride. Hi, this is Cal White with Ernie Harris, California Motorcycle Company, and along with me, the legendary Evil Knievel. We're going to be here on Born to Ride, and back behind me, well, Evil, do you want to tell them about it? Thanks, Cal. I sure will. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Now you can take Born to Ride everywhere and anywhere. The new Born to Ride mobile app is ready for you to download. There's more multimedia, more information. More Born to Ride like never before. Hi, this is Chance with Ernie Hare's California Motorcycle and High Performance Weekly. What I got here in front of me today is Evil Knievel's personal 1998 California Motorcycle Rocket 88 rubber mount. And what I'm doing to it is installing an aero charger turbocharger. What this little baby here is going to do is bump the horsepower from 75 to 110 and the torque from 89 and a half to over 120 foot-pounds of torque at max boost. Aerocharger makes these units for all types of Harley-Davidson motors as well as SNS Sidewinder motors. So if you have a question regarding the installation of one of these turbochargers on your Harley-Davidson or California motorcycle, come on down and visit us at Ernie Harris CMC.
doing? I'm Evil Knievel, and I'm here sitting on my new California motorcycle, limited edition signature series, motorcycle one of 500. Behind me is the rocket that I tried to jump the Snake River Canyon in, and the XR750 that I set several world records with, and a statue that was given to me by Taft Broadcasting at Kings Island where I jumped 15 Greyhound buses. A lot of people have been into the store asking questions about the rocket and about the 750 and about the new California motorcycle limited edition signature series so we went to Idaho and got the rocket and the 750 out of storage and brought it down here to Ernie Harris. I have one motorcycle that I've donated or displayed at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. This is the other 750 that I have. It's going in my new restaurant, and of course the SkyCycle X2 that I tried to jump the canyon with. They're all right here at Ernie Harris California Motorcycle. So please, stop down and see my friends Cal and Gina and Scott and Chance. They'll be glad to answer all of your questions. They'll have the equipment on display here for about two weeks, so I hope to meet some of you too. See you again next week. Remember, watch Born to Ride. of Tampa. Hey, it's the Flashman, host of Born to Ride Radio. Make sure you check us out every Tuesday live from 7 till 11. It's amfm247.com. And don't forget, you can listen to the past shows at borntoride.com. Go there. Check out the all-new BornToRide.com with radio, TV, industry, adventure, events, magazines, mobile app, social media, and much more. It's the all-new BornToRide.com. Hi, this is Evil Knievel, and you're watching Born to Ride. Fine. 
we have inside here. The man, the legend. When I was a kid, he was one of my greatest idols when I was growing up. And uh, my father had went out and bought me a Rupp Mini bike. It had a little Britain Stratton 10 horsepower motor on it. So what I did, I broke into his paint cabinet and I got a white towel and made myself a red, white, and blue cape. Went and got my little brother and sister and put them at the end of the ramp and tried to jump them and I ended up landing on my little brother. That cost me that mini bike I hadn't seen out since that day in about two weeks in my room plus one hell of an ass whooping. <laughs> Called myself Evil Pete Knievel. You're gonna have a bad summer, boy. Oh boy. Hi, how you doing? It's nice to see all of you. Sure sorry this ride that Fletcher's put on puts on every year has been rained out, but we'll I'll be here for an hour or so with you. Any of you that didn't get autographs again. Who's who's new here today? Everybody else been here? Okay. Well, I've got some cards and we'll get started on this. So thanks a lot for coming today. I'm happy to come down for another time and and to take care of people I didn't get to take care of. So you bet. Hi, this is Pete with Born Ride. I'm here with Sherry from MDA. Can you uh, give the audience a little idea of what's going on here? Sure. Today we're having a ride with Fletcher's. Um, they have sponsored us to have a ride with Evil Knievel. Unfortunately, we've had some bad weather. Um, Evil has come out on uh, Friday and Saturday to sign some autographs, and uh, also today, Sunday. And the ride is all the proceeds that we have collected will go to Muscular Dystrophy Association. Okay, and how long is this going on today? Uh, today we're here till noon. Um, originally the ride was going to uh, leave at noon and end up at Quaker Steak and Lube, but unfortunately because of the weather we won't be traveling today. But um, Eva will be here till noon uh, to sign autographs. And um, all the proceeds that we have um, collected will stay in our own community. And the money goes towards our clinics, camp for the kids, helping to buy wheelchairs and braces for the kids. Obviously research because we're looking for a cure. Well, thank you, Sherry, and thank you. we appreciate your time and keep up the wonderful cause that you guys are working on. Thank you very much. All right. And this is Pete signing off with Born to Ride. I am behind the, in front of the man, the legend, my icon, Evil Knievel. Of Tampa. It's the Plant City Bike Fest, always on the first Saturday of every month. For 12 years, it's been going strong. Now it just got bigger and badder than ever. Born to ride its TV taping and doing a magazine shoot. See yourself on television and the magazine. Win a free tire from Cycle Stop. Win $100 for the best of show from Uncle Mike's. There's live music on the 866 Law Fran stage. Better bands, bigger stage, it's all new. Vendors, bikers, and sponsors, this is the all-new Plant City Bike Fest like never before. So make plans now for the first Saturday of every month with Born to Ride and the Plant City Chamber of Commerce. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my client's rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Don't miss Born to Ride Lifestyle Magazine, exclusive online at borntoride.com. 
See the recidivist Game Over Cycles Tattoo Masterpiece, extended feature, plus the girls of the recidivist, AIM Expo, and the girls of Born to Ride, and more, only at borntoride.com. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm sure going to donate $500 to muscular dystrophy today, and I hope you'll give whatever you can give so that we can help out even though we didn't get to go for the ride. I'm from Montana, you know. It has not rained or snowed up there, but so little, t they closed all the ski areas, except one, I think. And boy, how bad they need, how we bad we need their rain and snow this year. We trade you for one day here in Clearwater. Yeah. <laughs> I do, of course, remember, remember all the stuff on the television I've seen of the, you know, the jumps and that, that they talked about at the time. But when the opportunity came up for us to bring him to the store, I just thought it would be a great opportunity to have him here have his friends and families and, and, and fans come in to talk to him and that and meet with him. Uh, and it's been a great weekend. This has been our weekend of pure evil and it's been wonderful. I know what caught my attention is when I see the fans coming up to talk to him, just the expression on their face, the, the look in their eyes when they shake his hand, I mean, that, that's a thrill within itself. Almost everyone I spoke to prior to this event, whether they, they people that didn't know one end of a motorcycle from the other, if I said evil can evil, they said, "Wow, he was my hero. I got to be there." And they've been in line for here for two over two days now to see to see him. And it's it's great. The uh, the he, and he treats everyone very very well when they come up to him. Thanks for everything, April. You're in our prayers. Dennis, how are you today? Fine, Pete. How are you today? Wonderful. So can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here today? Uh, Evil's here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this week, and uh, we were planning on having a muscular dystrophy ride uh, starting at 12 noon, but it's raining cats and dogs outside. Yeah, unfortunately, it turned out to be a bad day, but the thing is we had a good turnout today and a good response, and all the proceeds do go to MDA. Yes, they do. Um, they've had a really good turnout all three days, and... Uh, you know, the, the response has been phenomenal here. I mean, there's been people coming Friday, Saturday, and today, which is Sunday. They've been coming, and, and we've still got lines of people. Well, I know Evil's been a big part of my life growing up, and I had, I had to come here. I couldn't pass the opportunity of coming up and meeting him, so it was a major thrill for me just to get his autograph and get a couple pictures taken with him. And I do appreciate his time, and I hope he, I will hope that he feels better, and I wish him the best. Well, thank you very much. I, I know he appreciates everything that y'all have done for him, you know, with Born to Ride and everything, and uh, he's just real happy to be here today, the whole weekend. Yeah, I'm sure hundreds of people are happy, happy to see him here today. Well, Dennis, thank you very much. Thank you. Don't miss Bike Nights every night featured in the new Born to Ride magazine. A complete listing of Born to Ride's hottest bike nights for you to check out. 
This month's issue features the 2015 Gibb Town Bike Fest Extravaganza on the front cover. And make sure you check out Born to Ride's Page 3 Girl in every issue of Born to Ride magazine. Pick up your free copy today. Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. Hey, Jerry Motorman Palladino here for Born to Ride TV with my tip of the week. Nobody I know of has a problem balancing the bike at 50 or 60 miles per hour. In fact, the faster you go, the more stable the motorcycle becomes. But at low speeds, below 15 miles per hour, the bike feels big and heavy and clumsy. It feels like it wants to tip over all the time. Here's the easiest way to overcome that. At low speeds, you want to stay in the friction zone. In other words, don't let the clutch out all the way. Stay in that gray area. At the same time, you want to bring the revs up a little bit and put a little bit of pressure on the rear brake. When you put pressure on the rear brake and put power to the rear wheel with the clutch and throttle, it makes the bike want to stand up rather than tip over. If you've ever seen the slow race, that's pretty much what these riders are doing. Remember to keep your head and eyes up, stay in that friction zone, a little bit of pressure on the rear brake, and the bike becomes extremely stable and easy to handle at low speeds. Remember, all it takes to ride like a pro is a little practice. Perfect practice makes perfect. For more tips, tricks, and techniques, log on to www.ridelikeapro.com. You've been involved in a motorcycle accident. I'm the biker on your side. I'm Fran Hush, your attorney that rides. Motorcycle accidents get my experience and personal attention. And there are no fees, no costs, unless you win. I've dedicated my career to helping accident victims and their loved ones. Your rights are my fights and I'll never settle for less than you deserve. If you've been injured in a motorcycle accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine. For over 18 years, the ultimate multimedia biker experience. The Sefner Tiki Hut Bar and Grill is now bigger and badder than ever. Seven days a week, it's the place to be. Don't miss the Big Game Super Party on Sunday, February the 1st, with large, giant screen viewing to see the game. Come party with your friends. There's food, beer, drink specials, and much more. Don't miss it. The Sefner Tiki Hut Bar and Grill, Sunday, February the 1st. Don't miss Born to Ride Lifestyle Magazine, exclusive online at borntoride.com. See the recidivist Game Over Cycles Tattoo Masterpiece, extended feature, plus the girls of the recidivist, AIM Expo, and the girls of Born to Ride, and more, only at borntoride.com. seen Wayne. I gave Wayne a I gave Wayne a ring worth about twenty thousand dollars and a watch worth about twenty five and I haven't seen him since. <laughs> Where's Mr. Fletcher at? Who's the gal with must ever get for you? Here, here's my five hundred. Oh, thank you very much. Give a receipt to Dennis. Thank you very much. Okay. I got drums a couple big legs. Trying to jump the bike back. Hopefully the way you didn't rain. I need to get a cane like your wife. I got a cane. I think I should use the damn thing. I've used it for years. I would have liked to have gone on the ride, really. Yes, I was looking forward to it. I thought having the pickup in it would add the price. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the gal at? here. Yeah, right. You were here yesterday? Yeah. The 
this one, you say my name on it? Yeah. Oh, I've got that in right heaven. On the tank. That one hasn't got the paint started on it here, you know? Yeah, yeah, it does. It already has it? Yep. There you are, kiddo. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Much. Take care of yourself. Thank you. You Thank too. You. Yep. Folks, be good. I'll see you. Have a nice Sunday. I'll be feeling better. Another month, I'll be okay. Thank you. Take care. Excellent, very like, excellent. Big, big influence in your life? Or he what? was. I remember being a little girl watching all of his jumps and everything on TV. So, very happy that I was able to make it down from the sign it. I'll tell you what, that's a really, really, really great thing. So, great man. You've got it on here. You're going to clear that tank. Right? Absolutely. Yep, it's going straight to the tank guy. Stuff there. Yes, sir. Okay, go on. Oh, guys, we're gonna have to put a pressure here. What's your name? Kyle. Turn that over. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. Yeah, bless you. Take care.